where I put this thing? Here or there? Here or there? Little bug just crawled on the table. I think that's the bug from last time. He's alive. He's alive! Scotty, look at your dehydrated hand. My hands will dry. You need to cut your fingernails too, man. Oh, my nails are getting damaged from building too many sets. All right, you guys. Welcome back to Pick Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty. Where am I? I'm behind the camera. Why? Because my time in the office is so short. And you know, I love doing videos for you guys, but man, it takes me so long to just do one video now, especially with the virus and being home with the kids. I figured I'm gonna start to try to review things this way, right? This is what I would probably call it the Jang style. To show you the product with my little hand, my fat hand. And you know, it might be easier to punch this stuff more out to you guys. So hopefully I can get a lot more videos for you in a shorter amount of time. So please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And do let me know down below what you think of this idea. If this is okay, if you're like, no, Scotty, we need to see you. But doing it this way, I can get some of my backlog reviews done for you guys. And I think some of them have been discontinued. Anyway, ooh, look what's in front of me. You ready to check this sucker out? Here we go. So what you guys are seeing in front of your eyes is from the brand called Winners, not Losers. Well, hopefully, you know, some of their sets aren't that great, so maybe they are kind of losers, but you know, at least this is original and it's part of their train series. This is the cable car, 5086-1186. I'm not quite sure why they made the model number weird like that. It's like one or the other, you can choose, who knows. Okay, so it's around 361 pieces. Here is the instruction, the manual. It's very nice, simple, easy to read, colorful. Wow, nice and colorful. And just to show you guys on the back here, if you're a trained fan, there you go. All the original, hopefully original, trains that you can ask for. We do not list this on my store, but you're welcome to email us at brickmeupscotty.com because the funny thing is, some of you have actually bought the entire series from me. So there you go. You can buy it if you want to. It should still be available. You know, these things get discontinued as fast as they're released. This does come with a couple of minifigures. We'll look at them later. Let's look at the cable car first. Let's slide this back here. Now, if you haven't seen my Lego factory train video, you know, I'm not like collecting trains quite yet, but I got this one because, oh, it's kind of different. It's cool, it's cable car style, and it does run on these tracks. And what you see, by the way, does come with a set. So you get like a section of these tracks here and yeah, let's just see if this thing can roll, kind of. It's a little bit smooth. You know, I don't know if you can put a motor. You might be able to put a motor on this thing. Watch this thing fly. That's kind of neat. On this side here, what you're seeing, I have put all the stickers. There are a lot of stickers on this thing. So, sorry, no prints. But, just to show you guys for this review, I did not put any stickers on this side. Now, you can see for yourself, what the difference is like. A little bit plain, right? Something like this is really quick and easy to build, not difficult, but it is a little bit flimsy. I think the reason is because you can like kind of go in there if you wanted to, and things might just kind of pop off on you. You know, you can open this thing up here on the top. You can look on the inside, be like, oh, this window pops out a little bit too easy, but I think it was intended to be like that. So you can kind of like leave it open like that if you wanted to. So you can actually put the figures on the inside. I'm gonna put them inside in a bit. And you do have this, this the door right here. But I do like the sticker. So you got the cable car sticker there. And you got the door sticker there. I kind of like the door sticker. Do not near danger. Please, please, please. Do not near danger. Okay, they need to hire an English teacher. But the, the overall look of that door is, is kind of cool. Like the this, sticker this look of it. I don't know what I'm saying, but anyway, yeah, there you go. It does open up and close. More stickers here along the top. Cable car with the model number. Uh, probably would have been nice to have it without the model number, but it's okay. It's on the front here as well, on the bumper. So this is train or cable car 5086. So the driver's side front looks nice. I actually quite, quite like the colors of this. This cable car is just nice and refreshing. The other side does a mirror there. And I think you do have to be a little bit careful when you're like pushing down on things or a lot of pieces underneath here are built bottom up. 
So things might want to pop off. Right now, it's pr pretty, pretty solid, yeah. It's just moving around okay. Cute little tiny rear view mirrors that they kind of swivel there. So, you know, you're gonna keep bumping into those. Here, let's pop, we can open that. Open the door here. Take out the window piece here. So, I, I, you know, it looks like it was intended to be able to pop off easy there. That's why this window probably kept popping off on me. I don't think you're supposed to take off the top. You could try, like, am I wanna pop things off? Oh, you kinda can. There you go. The top is off now. Now we can see inside clearly. Got a lot of light. It's quite a bare minimum on the inside. You have the driver's seat there with a the steering wheel. A couple of joysticks there. And then you got some chairs there. You can fit four passengers. Where's the driver's chair? Or maybe he's just gonna be standing. Am I missing the chair there? No, I'm not missing a chair there. I thought I was. It shows in the manual that it is blank. Maybe the guy just stands up and drives. Yeah, what do you think so far? You're liking this? Actually kind of cool if we just do it like a convertible like that. Maybe you could pop off these things and put wheels on it and make it like a car, convertible car or boat. There, hasn't fallen apart on me yet. Whoa! See this top fit here, nothing too crazy. Very simple in design. All right, that's kind of cool that it can open up on the top. These things can adjust, you know, so if you want to like give it a different look or however your power line is overhead. There you go, very easy to adjust. So there, that's the cable car. Hey, that was pretty quick, man. I kind of like this. Let's look at this other section that does come with it. It's like a mini little platform where the figures are waiting. There's a stop sign there. Let's take all these guys off first. So we've got a swivelable traffic light here. That's interesting, at least no stickers on there. Let's go, woo! Two tiles here that's just kind of like breaking up where you're supposed to stand. I'm not quite sure the train's supposed to go through here, right? Oh no, maybe this is the crosswalk, so I don't know, man. At least you got something extra that comes with a set. And there's the stop sign. That's a sticker on there. And another sticker here. Now let's see if they spelled that correctly. Safe trip, drive carefully. Oh, they got that. Got the model number there again. 5086. They really want you to know. This is 5086. Let me put this back on here. Let's see if how easy. Oh, that is very easy. So you just open these up and take the windows out and put your figures in there. They know how to take this part off. Just, just be a little bit careful because it is kind of fragile. Okay, we'll slide this out of the way. Let's look at the figures. Okay, we'll start with the little boy first. It's okay. Hmm, I'm not sure about the, the, the eye. It's kind of different. But you know, you're probably not gonna use these figures for the set, but it's nice to know that it comes with figures. If that's a good thing or a bad thing. But you know, if you order from us and you don't want the figures, you know, we can just get rid of these things for you. You don't have to have them in there. Use your Lego ones. Okay, let's go to this lady here. There's mama. All dressed up. It's pretty okay. No, not, not bad. There's a print on the back. No, not much. But there you can see her standing there. She is ready to ride this train. What do you guys think so far? Yay or nay? Let's get her husband or boyfriend or I don't know. I don't know anymore. Look at this eyes on this guy. Kind of looks kind of spooky. Nice little bag on him. You know, at least the color combo on the guys look pretty okay. Yeah, it's nothing on the back printed on him, just the collar part. So the color of the characters aren't too bad. Finally, you got this guy. <laughs> Probably the most questionable guy here. Why does he look like that? Look at his beard. He's using Santa's beard. But I like his pants and I like his top. It's actually pretty okay. Let's flip into the back. Maybe he's the conductor of this cable car. But there he is. And there are a couple accessories that do come with this set. There's like a guitar and a camera. I don't know where I put them. Probably just threw them with my spares. There are the four figures there for you. Let's quickly throw them in the cable car and let's see how they hold up. Okay, so we're supposed to open this, pop this off. This looks like it's still a little bit hard to reach. I'm gonna just make this guy, old guy, the driver. I'm gonna stand him here. Oh, can I get him? Can't stand him. Yeah, I think it's actually easier to take this thing off. Okay, back right there. One guy sitting here. Boy sitting in the back, standing in the back, can't sit down. 
okay? So they do fit in there, which is nice. You can get everything in there, but I did have to take off the top to really get in there and put them in. Maybe I can put the driver back one more here. I guess he is gonna stand there. Ride this cable car. Let's close up the top. Let's put this on the track. Oh, see, I can kind of see here pushing down. So I might have some loose bricks there now or loose plates there. There we go. There's all the figures on the cable car. Just coming in going. Yeah, and you have the stop sign here to decorate it a little bit. Maybe I'll zoom this out a little bit more like that. So you get an idea. All aboard! Ding 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 ding. Now, just for fun, let's show you guys something. I still have my Lego tracks here from the Disney train station and Shall we check if they are compatible? Are they infringing on copyright for the tracks themselves? You guys let me know. Okay, so what's interesting is the track that's in front, which is the Lego one, the straight pieces are actually the same length. The curved ones, push back here for you, it's actually longer. Huh. That's kind of an odd thing, but there you go, it's exactly the same parts, but it's just a little bit longer. So, now let's see if I can do this. I'm gonna move this out of the way. Now, we'll connect up the Lego piece with the winner piece. How dare I? You can actually see a little bit of a difference of color there. Will it roll across? Yes, it will. There you go. Oh no, we have crossed into unknown territories. Oh. Okay, enough of the tracks. Let's check out the dimensions. There it is on a 32 by 32 base plate. So, by length, you're looking at about 12 studs in length. By width, uh, it's kind of around eight. So you guys can check if that's for you. And of course, I have my height bricks here. And I'm gonna put it here. Let's put this at the highest that I can reach. There you go. So you're looking at 13 bricks in height. There you go, there's your dimensions. One thing to mention really quickly too is you don't want to be squeezing here. If you squeeze here, it'll be like, ah, you break it off like that. Yeah, don't, don't squeeze the sides, man, because that's when the, the side panels want to come off, because they're all kind of designed to fit into there. Look, I pretty much just took the whole thing apart in one shot. So you want to see the drop test on this? We can still do it. Here, go about this high, okay? Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Well, that was actually a little bit surprising. All the figures and everyone's still inside. Nothing has even moved. Wow. That's for the top. Oh, not bad. Okay. Cool, man. Fly away, guys. I had to drop this one, too. Here we go. Oh, the stop sign flew. There's your drop test. So there's the winner's cable car for you guys. I think it's actually a winner. I think it's actually pretty okay. A little bit simple. A little bit fragile, but as you can see, it hasn't really fallen apart on me. And please do let me know if you like this format. This is a lot faster for me to do. I hope I can get you more sets, reviews quicker, maybe even bigger ones and smaller ones, a lot faster, all right? So thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, you guys, I can't really break myself out. just have to move my hands out of the way. Break me out! Da, 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 da. Oh, -ho! durability test. It fell apart on me. The stop sign fell apart. Stop in the name of love. What am I doing? I kind of like just this piece by itself. Just forget the cable car. There you go. Little piece for your city. 
can't get any more simple than this, guys. But you know what? The sticker really does make up for the set, to be honest with you. Plain. Stickers. 